Barrel Craft Spirits has a new lower price option. If you want to find out whether or not it's worth it, then stick around. All right, pretty girl. Yeah. We have a bottle of Barrel Craft Spirits. And we are going to determine whether or not this new lower price option that they have available to the public is worth it. Do you know anything about Barrel Craft Spirits? Not a whole lot other than um, I generally like it a lot. Yeah, so uh, Barrel Craft Spirits is a non-distiller producer and uh, very similar to the Prideful Goat, only much larger, much wider distribution. Um, and so they are bottling other products and like many non-distiller producers, they have struggled to find uh, available sources of whiskey at an affordable price. And historically, their pricing has been a little bit higher than what I was comfortable with. So in our market, a bottle of Barrel Craft Spirits is $89.99 to $99.99. And, you know, sometimes when you're looking at the ages and the product that's in there, it doesn't feel great. Um, and some of their single barrels are a little bit more expensive than that. And so uh, I was excited to find out that they had done the work to put together uh, whiskey to release something that was a little bit cheaper. But now it remains to be seen whether or not it is actually worth it. So, so the distillery is barrel. Um, the SKU is barrel foundation bourbon. And it is age stated at five years. And if you look here on the back, they have all of the blending components. So Barrel's really good at disclosure. And they say that they've got Kentucky eight year, Indiana five, six, and nine year, Tennessee eight, and Maryland five and six. So when you look at this entire list, the youngest whiskey that's in this is five years old. So it's five, five years, years age stated. Yeah. A lot of people would think that they could take the percentages of the different and ages and average it out, and you're not allowed to do that. Whatever the youngest thing is, that's what your age statement is. They know something else that's cool. I like that they have the mash bill on there, for sure. Yeah, so, you know, there's probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different mash bills that are in this whiskey, but they've done the averages to figure out what the mash bill would have been had they made it had they made it straight out and it's 73 corn 23 rye and only four percent malted barley hmm. um and so that's interesting and i'd like to point out that this whiskey is labeled as a blend of straight bourbon and that's not the same as a as a blended bourbon um this whiskey is not adulterated they tell you what's in it uh, but because of labeling laws you cannot have a straight bourbon that has whiskey from two different states in it hmm. Uh, which is part of what created the controversy for 13th Colony. Uh, yeah. No one knows whether or not there's multiple states of distillation. Sure. They're not disclosed. Is it a straight? Is it not? Should it be blend of straight? Uh, but Barrel is very good at disclosure and telling everybody everything that they can. Um, I'm also a little bit surprised by uh, that because uh, an eight-year-old Tennessee is probably too old to come from Tennessee Distilling Group. Mm. Um, and typically, eight-year Tennessee is going to be from Dickel. And I am sometimes skeptical about the Dickel flavor kind of overwhelming the other flavors from the other whiskey. So we will see whether or not that is the case. Um, so Ready? the uh, no, 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 not yet. We have Just to uh, we have to talk about uh, we talked about age. The proof yes. oh, is yes. 100 proof, which is great. Yeah. Um, I I'm always skeptical of a brand that's targeting you know premium customers. Uh, at a proof below 100 proof, so that's a solid proof point. Uh, you looked up the SRP, and so what was the SRP on this? Uh, 54.99, I believe. Yeah, and so you may see it at a little yeah. bit different price point, um, but that could be due to your state's excise tax, tax or shipping cost differences. It's in a 750 ml bottle. So what do you say we nose it up? Let's do it. All right. I'll let you start. What are you getting? Um, well, it is a very sweet nose. Mm -hmm. um, there's not really much of a like barrel char component, which I wouldn't expect, you know, with the youngest whiskey in there being five years old. 
It's not that it's not there at all, but I it, there it's it's really kind of a fruity floral mm -hmm. nose. Any particular notes that are jumping out at you? Um, like I get like a melony type of. Okay. Like it, it like it it's sweet though, so not like. Not like watermelon, but no. like maybe like a sweet honeydew. Maybe. Because I'm getting a honey. Yeah, I get the honey for sure. So I'm getting honey. Maybe some honeydew. Cantaloupe, maybe. A really ripe cantaloupe. Sure, because it, I'd like it's sweet, sweet. Yeah. That's why I'd like, yeah. Yeah, and there's a there's a little hint of something on the nose um, that it, it's it smells a little like a like a black tea bitterness. Hmm. Um, so I don't know. What do you say we taste it up? Sure. Oh, wow. You get a lot of the honey for sure. Yeah, honey, uh, quite a bit of honey on the front end for sure. Um, then it kind of transitions into some of the, the fruitier notes. Yeah, it's really fruity, I feel like. Hard to put your your finger on exactly what the fruit notes are because there, there's just so much going on. Uh, I feel like if you if you like dipped cantaloupe in vanilla. Okay, yeah, maybe. there's there's definitely a good bit of vanilla mm -hmm. uh, coming through with that honey flavor. Um, but cantaloupe and vanilla, all right, I could see that. You get any orange? Mm, maybe a little bit. Because, I mean, I, like you were saying, like, it's so fruity, it, it's hard to pick out. Yeah, I could see, I could see a little bit of orange. Um, but then on the, so after the fruit flavor, and you transition past that, I get a, a, a it tastes like fruit flavored tea to me. Like mm -hmm. a sweet fruit flavored tea. Okay. I get that. Um, and I, 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 I find that to be a really appealing characteristic to whiskeys. There's a couple that I've come across that like had a real strong sweet tea note to me, like uh, Wyoming Whiskey Company and Hard Truth. And I really like that that component. And I feel like this has it. Um, how about the finish for you? Yeah, like I get like a... And I know there's no like smoky flavors in this, but I feel like there's like a like a like a burnt sugar at the very end, like it's um yeah, like a caramelized sugar. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because I think the front end is it doesn't taste a lot like caramel or toffee. It it does taste a lot like honey. Um, but I can see how in the finish you you get a little bit of that toffee component. Yeah, and it, like normally, like if it's if it's, you know, got really heavy, smoky, burnt flavors, I'm you're out. out. Um, but this is know, like well integrated. Balanced. Yeah, like I really like it. Um, and then um, I get a good bit in, in the finish. It just mm -hmm. hangs around forever. It's funny because we uh, recorded E. H. Taylor Barrel Proof before we did this one. And I'm still like. <laughs> and, and the finish on this barrel is lasting quite a bit longer than the E.H. Taylor barrel proof. Yeah, that's true. Um, which it, The barrel proof burned longer, but this, the flavor. The flavor's yeah. hanging around. Um, and so I'm, get, I'm getting some mint on the on the finish that's hanging around for oh, a yeah. good bit that I that I think is interesting. Uh, so how would you rate this one on a 100 point scale? It, I, like, I don't know if my opinion is skewed because I generally like barrel craft spirits you know stuff but um i like this a lot like 90s for sure yeah um i'm i'm gonna go i'm gonna go 90 maybe even 91 on sure. this that's a lot for for this type of product that's not some special limited edition release this is supposed to be their entry into like bars and restaurants because mm. it's you know if you have a if you have a hundred dollar bottle 
that's not the right bottle for most bars and restaurants. Sure. Because it's just, the, the cost per pour is just too high. But a 54, um, I mean, this is even cheaper than the, um, uh, the whistle pig that I like so much, the Alfa Romeo. The, the Alfa Romeo, Romeo. yeah, it's which is like steps. highly finished and this is not. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I, 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 I like this quite a bit. Uh, so buy or pass at $54.99. Mm. I may make you go buy another one. Yeah, I. This is one that, like, if I ran out and I saw another one, I'd buy it again. Um, and so I, I, I just, I really like it. I, I really like this, yep. this product. So, what do you say we give some whiskey away? Let's do it. Unfortunately, we are a little bit low we are. on our barrel we pressed like carrots. It. We do like it, um, but. What we're gonna do is we're gonna give out a one ounce sample pack of all of the, all three of the barrel craft spirits bottles that you see here today. Um, and that is kind of exciting because one of them is a single barrel that we picked that is 141.9 proof. So we have a hazmat. And it is so yummy. It is so good. We use this to uh, have people do the sniff test between our, our new glass that's designed for high proof spirits and the and other to, one and to show how bad the other glass is it's uh, not it's not it's a it's a good glass for what it was intended, intended for, for yes which was scotch whiskey that's lower, lower in proof. proof yes so, so we use this spirit to do the sniff test because it's almost 142 proof yeah but you'll get a sample of that and all you have to do to enter is like this video subscribe to the channel we recommend you ring the bell so that you will be notified of future content and future giveaways because there's a giveaway on every new episode. On Monday and Wednesday. On, and on Fridays. Oh, I didn't know you drank Yeah, we do, we, we do a free giveaway on every video. I just live here. Yeah, no, it's, fine. It's, it's fine, it's fine. You do also have to click the link in the video dis description, give us your basic contact information. We run a randomizer, post it publicly, reach out to the winner, get your shipping details, get your samples out to you absolutely for free. And uh, if you like this content and you want to support the channel, tell them some of the ways they can do that. Well, we do have a, a Patreon account. Um, we've got multiple tiers uh, for our patrons and lots and lots of good, uh, like goodies. I mean, lots of goodies. Yeah, it's, um, it's not just a donation. Not like, just a donation. We, we Distillery are... takeovers. Um, there's one coming up. There's one coming up. this weekend. We just announced our next one. There's a third one that's in the, in the works. Yeah. Um, and so on those days, we go to the distillery, pick a single barrel, king for a day, private tours, taste out of barrels, hang out in person, just generally have a great time. Uh, often there is catered in food. Uh, we're eating at a five-star restaurant, I think, at the next one. I don't want to hear about it because yeah. can't go. And she's not going because it's a long trip. Um, but they can also go to the website that you made. Yes, and get all of the merch. All of the merch. Uh, and this merch was designed to buy whiskey people for whiskey people. So you're yeah. going to love what you see at bourbonhilltalk.com. Um, and also, this channel's been subsidized by a real estate business since its inception. Yeah. And so if you want to show some support, you could consider hiring me as your residential real estate agent in the Dallas or Houston metro areas. I do give epic bottles as closing gifts. And he has an epic transaction coordinator. Yes, and she's doing the transaction coordination paperwork. Okay, so. I don't know that I'm epic yet. I'm not as good as I used to be. Well, she's, she's, she's uh, you know, getting back on the bike, but she's done this all right. <laughs> so... Uh, but yeah, so all of the links for Patreon merch and the real estate all the are all in the video description below. And uh, we end every episode the same way. And that's this. If you woke up this morning and you're unsure whether or not anyone loved you, just know that we, that love, we love you. you. We'll see you next time on Bourbon Roll Talk. Cheers. Age dated at five years. <laughs> Put your black hat down. Gentler next time. <laughs> One more drink. Drink. <laughs> drink. I don't need your help. 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 I can quit any time. 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 I will never forget when my brother did that whole bit in front of my dad at dinner. God, it was the best.